Members of the House Ethics Committee have spent the week locked in debate over what to do with the pending ethics report on Florida Congressman Matt Gates. With President elect Donald Trump choosing Gates as the next attorney general, the pressure of the committee's decision becomes especially heavy. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest on the situation. In a public push for President elect Trump's embattled pick for Attorney General Matt Gates, Vice President elect JD Vance joining the former congressman on Capitol Hill, sitting down with the Republican senators who will decide whether to confirm him. The senator's been giving me a lot of good advice. I'm looking forward to a hearing. Uh, folks have been very supportive. That as the bipartisan House Ethics Committee in a closed door meeting could not come to agreement about whether to release results of an investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct and drug use that Gates forcefully denies. There been no agreement to release the report. There was no consensus on this issue. We did agree that we would reconvene as a committee on December 5th to further consider this matter. The investigation ended when Gates resigned from the House last week, and House Speaker Mike Johnson has publicly argued the report about a now private citizen should stay private. The committee's Republican chair today saying that report has not gone through the review process. I have some reservations about releasing any And I really don't care to comment on the status of the report, except to say that we were in a position to vote today. President-elect Trump standing by Gates as he keeps naming administration picks, tapping former World Wrestling Entertainment executive Linda McMahon to lead the Department of Education, which he campaigned on shutting down. Sending all education and education work and needs back to the states. The president-elect also announcing TV personality, physician and former Pennsylvania Senate candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz to head the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. President-elect Trump also named former acting attorney general Matt Whitaker as ambassador to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, a role he served under in Trump's first term, a key alliance that the president-elect has been critical of in the past.